everyone to another tech zone video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you uh, a great netbook operating system for your netbook uh, that is called uh, Jolly Cloud and uh, they released version 1.1 yesterday for all netbooks and I'm just going to be talking about it today and showing you. Now I, as you can see here I'm using a Samsung and 150 netbook. Great netbook if you're on a budget and uh, I've had this for a couple of months and I'm recording through my new camera which is the Nikon P100 semi -pro professional camera and it, re it's, it records in full HD but the problem is this video is anyway going to be compressed to 720p so that's why I'm recording in 720p right now okay so you can see Samsung M150 let's get back to the point so uh, Jolly Cloud now <coughs> uh, with the release of version 1.1 you can also install it not only on all netbooks, yes, all netbooks, uh, you can in also install it on very old computers back in 2003 or 2001. So if you got an old PC lying around, you can install Jolly Cloud on it as well. So you can visit the Jolly Cloud website and see if your netbook is compatible, but even, anyways, all netbooks are compatible. Just try it and see. Drivers, everything, they're all pre built, built in. Okay, <clears throat> so what if you got Windows in it, like all netbooks? What are you going to do? No problem, you can install Jolly Cloud through Windows itself. <coughs> Sorry, I'm kind of sick today. And um, they will ask you how much of uh, space do you want to take for Jolly Cloud? And I put like about 30 gigs, and then uh, it should reserve 30 gigs for Jolly Cloud. You don't have to do any partitioning or anything like that. And uh, Jolly, Cloud, Jolly, <laughs> Jolly Cloud is great for those who are into social networking or on the internet all the time or just doing basic tasks. If you're using programs and all that, then stick to Windows, but you can install Jolly Cloud if you're in quick need to use the internet. So, let me show you that right, right now. And it doesn't mess up the bootloader. Now, Jolly Cloud is based on Ubuntu, and as you may know, if you install Ubuntu, it should mess up your bootloader. Now, your bootloader is where you can select Windows 7 or you choose your operating system. Well, Jolly Cloud doesn't mess it up. When you install Jolly Cloud and restart it, uh, it should have your Windows 7 bootloader saying Windows 7 or Jolly Cloud. So let me just show you that right now. Got my wireless mouse over here. Not to cause any distraction. So, you can see here, Windows 7 or Jolly Cloud. Should load up as normal. Now this is version 1, that's the thing, but 1.1 is not much of a difference, just ver extended battery life. There's a 5% increase in battery with 1.1, but I'll upgrade in a bit. Uh, damn, my nose is blocked. Okay, uh, so, I already got the cursor over here. This is a very simple login screen, so let me just type my username and password. Don't mind this blue wallpaper, just skip it. Now, Jolly Cloud is somewhat like a cloud operating system which is based on the internet. So, uh, you pretty much need the internet to pretty much use this operating system. It, it, it doesn't matter if you don't have the internet you can still use it but you won't have the wallpaper function that's the thing I, I think so so what I mean is that the dashboard or the main menu is pretty much a web page yes so it's connected to the internet and loading up your main menu so but it doesn't matter if you don't have the internet it should load up the offline version so don't worry about it so here are your icons. At default, you get uh, Google Chrome, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, all internet applications, especially some games. Space Invaders. This is very fun. Uh, you can download third party applications, which I'll show you in a bit. There's VLC, and then uh, Writer, which is Open Office, Facebook Chat. Uh, transmission, which is a torrent downloader. Oh, there you go. Upgrade to Jolly Cloud 1.1. I'll upgrade in a bit. Just finish recording this. So now you can see it's currently downloading this writer thing. It did not complete last, last time. So you can add wallpapers, like I said, over here. You can choose a wallpaper of your choice. And uh, let's take a look around. So Google Chrome. Uh, you know the usual Google Chrome like you get in Windows. Same thing. 
Uh, everything's based in, in Ubuntu. Then Facebook, I'm not showing that. <laughs> Twitter. It's, it's just basically Google Chrome without any tabs or bars or whatever. It just loads up the main page itself. Now it's slow, like I said, it's downloading. Uh, Gmail, YouTube, uh, VLC. So you can see right here, VLC. You can just watch me using it. There you go, Twitter. So I'll just close this. Now, uh, here's, here's another good benefit having Jolly Cloud. If you've got an Intel Atom N450 processor, like I do, uh, you can watch in 720p. All videos in 720p, so that's great. And if you got an Intel Atom uh, N550 processor, you can watch full HD 1080p videos on your netbook. Now that is a great benefit, really, but although the screen's small, so I don't know what benefit would be there in it. But hey, if you can watch 1080p, that's a good thing. Okay, so um, let's take a look around. So over here, now you can make an account for Jolly Cloud, which you do anyway, just as you finish installing. And uh, here you can just check your friends on Jolly Cloud. And here you can check your folders. There is the Windows folder. It's, it stays intact. And you just click it. There you go. The icon bounces. That's what I love about this. Damn it. This is really distracting. Okay. So this is your C drive in Windows. You can just take, your, take a look around your drive. And you can look at all your pictures, text documents. Programs, however, don't open. But if you know this wine application for Ubuntu that is also there in Jolly Cloud which I'll show you in a bit so you can also check your uh, Dropbox account and all your files in there and uh, under settings you can check all your um, uh, Jolly, Jolly Cloud account stats if you go to this device you can check your updates and legacy applications which are just settings calculator dictionary Mia movie player not only movie player, media player as well. Sound recorder, mobile apps, etc., etc. So, uh, nothing much to it. It's just a basic cloud operating system. And if you want more apps, you can just click the plus icon over here, which will take you to the App Store. And uh, it's the App Store, so you can actually, it's called the App Center, but whatever. Featured apps, which are all over here, and you can check under different categories. There's also GIMP. Uh, if you don't know, here you go. There's GIMP as well. And uh, publishing. There's also Tumblr, Blogger, WordPress. So you can update your stats from there. Then video. There's also some other media players. There's also Boxy, uh, Hulu. Uh, IMDB and uh, th you can also download some games not really good ones just basic 2D fun like games you can see over here but hey if you're using the internet a lot this is what you gotta get and um, yeah so that's about it so this is a very this is a really good operating system oh, oh yeah also one thing the dashboard is some kinda based on the iOS uh, home screen on the iPod Touch and iPad. If you can see those, you see the different pages you can access from here. It, it's kind of similar, okay? Uh, so, battery life is great. I mean, uh, compared to Windows and Dry Cloud version 1.1, there's a 15% battery increase. So, th that's some boost at least. So, gonna be happy about it. And, uh, my god, this is really distracting. Can, you can also use Bluetooth. Uh, you can check your battery over here. My God, I've been using my laptop, uh, netbook for so long, and it's only 51% left. Uh, you can connect to Wi-Fi from here. Uh, sound, time, and uh, you can change quite a lot of settings in under local settings. This kind of gives me the feeling of using Mac OS X, but you know that dock thing is not there. So uh, you can also change the appearance. There's, you can customize this uh, quite a lot. You can go to customize, you can choose a theme, change the colors, and uh, you can change the cursor and the icons. Uh, that's why it loads up in blue, this desktop background thing. I don't know why I chose blue, I'll just stick with black or something. Um, fonts, and then visual effects. I don't know what this comp thing is, so I'll just check on that later. 
Uh, you can also connect your external display, which I have over there. Uh, you can connect to your VGA port. This USB is the wireless mouse. Okay. So, anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much to it. I know it doesn't sound much, but once you get it and use it from your perspective, it's it's great. So. Um, that's about it. If you want to know more information on Jolly Cloud, just check the link in the description down there. And if you uh, if you enjoyed my videos and you want to uh, subscribe for more, then just click the subscribe button. I I forgot what it is. I'm not used to the new YouTube. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, why well, subscribe for more? So um, thanks for watching and have a great day.